Hi there. In the last video, we added an authentication controller and create action. Right now, it doesn't do much. It just returns a hard-coded token. In this video, we'll fix that by building a service that returns a JWT. Let's get started. We haven't added any service classes so far in this video series. You can think of services as places to put business logic that is somewhat detached from Rails in the sense that you could move the service objects into any other Ruby application and they would just work. First things first, let's create a new services directory. So we have app, controllers, jobs, models, representers, and alongside that, we're going to create a new folder for services. And we'll also do the same thing in the spec directory. We have controllers, factories, jobs, quests. And alongside that, we'll add a new folder, services. And because we want to drive this via the tests, let's start there by adding a new file for the service that we want to test. Let's call it authentication token service spec. And uh, let's set up the usual boilerplate. So we'll require Rails helper and we'll describe authentication token service. And we also have a describe for the uh, method that we want to test. In this case, it's going to be a class method called call. And we'll add a basic it block and just say it returns an authentication token. Now, if I run the tests, I should get an error. And let's see what happens. Uninitialized constant authentication token service because we haven't defined this service yet. So in our new services directory, I'll create a new file, authentication token service RB. I'll define the service here. And if I run the specs again, they're now passing. So we have our first passing test. Now let's add our first test scenario. And I'm going to say expect described class. So in our spec, described class is this class that we're testing. Described class dot call, because that's the method that we've decided to test. So we expect to equal some token. Let's just say one, two, three to get started. And if I run the tests again, we get uh, an undefined method error because call hasn't been uh, defined yet. So let's jump over and do that. So we'll define a method. Because this is a class method, we can use uh, self.call. So uh, self is what defines uh, this method as being a class method. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't believe this uh, service needs any initialization at the moment. Uh, if it does, we can come back and uh, modify the um, modify this class later on. So I'll run the tests again. And uh, oops, I didn't save the file. So here we have, we're no longer getting the method error. 
we're now all getting an error because we're returning nil instead of the string that we're expecting in the tests. So if I just hard code that, uh, we're now getting a passing test. So we've built the the basic boilerplate for this uh, this service. Now what we need to do is actually generate a JWT. To generate the JWT token, we can use the Ruby JWT gem. Let's uh, open the browser and take a look at that now. So JWT Ruby. And there's some documentation about it here. So the first thing you'll notice is that you can use this gem for different algorithm types. And the algorithms are used, uh, they're for different ways of securing the token, essentially. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna go with HMAC. You can see there are two main methods that we care about. There's the encode, where we uh, take a payload, uh, a secret, and the algorithm type, and then we produce a JWT, JWT token. Then we have decode, where we take that token, the secret, and the algorithm type, and we decode it, and we can pull out the data in the payload that we're interested in. So we're not going to be worrying about the decode at the moment, just the encode part to to build a, a JWT. So I'll grab this from the readme and let's dump it into here. So we have this secret. I'm going to define a payload. Oops, I'm just gonna say, um, let's say uh, test blah. So we have some payload have the secret and we have the algorithm type and then we're going to return this token and of course the other thing we need to do which I've forgotten about is we need to actually use this gem uh, in our project so to do that I need to add the gem to the gem file so I'll jump over to here add the gem and run bundle to install it there we go. So now I should be able to run my tests again and I'll get a failing a failure because the JWT is actually being returned now instead of just the string one, two, three. And there we go. So we're expecting one, two, three, but we're actually getting this JWT. Now to get this test passing, we need to add the decode logic. So the idea is in the test, we will call the service that will return a JWT and then we decode it and make sure that it's valid. So what I'm going to do is take some logic from the readme here for decoding a token. So I'm going to take this. and I need the HMAC secret. And the I also need the token, which will come from the described class call. So I call our service. This gives us a JWT. I then pass that into the decode function to give us a, a decoded token. And I can then say expect decoded token to equal. 
and it will effectively be this. There we go. So it's an array. Inside it we have the payload and the uh, header, which is just the algorithm type. So let's run this now and see what happens. And we have an error. Oh yeah, because I copied it from the readme and didn't change the payload. So it should be test, blah. And there we go. We have a passing test, which proves that our service is returning a valid JWT. I'm sure you'll agree that this code needs some tidy up. And the first thing I'm going to do is move the HMAC secret into a constant. So that means uh, one, I'm uh, moving this out of the uh, call method. Uh, cleaning that up a little bit, but also I can reference this outside of the class, which means in our test I can say instead of redefining the secret here, I can say describe class HMAC secret and that should still pass. Uh, oh, uninitialized constant authentication. Oh, I, I didn't save the uh, the service. Let's run that again. Undefined local variable or method HMAC secret. I need to use the constant here. There we go. Okay, next I'm going to do the same thing with the algorithm type. So I'll say algorithm type Paste that and use it here. The nice thing about doing that as well is uh, you can imagine someone reading this code for the first time, it might not be obvious what that means. By moving it into a constant, I've given it uh, a nice name. Now I can reference this here. So described class algorithm type. And let's also move this onto uh, multiple lines. Token describe class true algorithm type. There we go. I'll also move the token up into a let. The reason I want to do that is it makes the test much easier to read where we just have to set up uh, decoding a token and then the expectation checking that the decoded token is correct. Let's run the test and make sure it's all passing. There we go. Okay, let's do a quick recap of what we've built so far. We have an authentication controller which doesn't do much yet. It accepts a username and password and returns a hard-coded token. We also have an authentication token service, which can generate a JWT with a payload for us. What we need to do now is piece these two parts together. So we need some logic that will take the username and password, uh, check the database for the user, pass a, a user identifier, probably the user ID, into the authentication token service to generate a JWT, which we can then return as the token. I hope you enjoyed this third video on the topic of authentication. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.